today's video, I will show you how you can automatically create parent folders in SharePoint when a child folder requires it. We've had a number of customers that have configured SharePoint to mirror the hierarchy used uh, within Salesforce. A good example of this, as you can see here, is where we have an accounts folder in SharePoint and underneath that an individual account and for each individual account it has an opportunities folder and within the opportunities folder we see individual opportunities so the opportunities are nested within their respective account the problem with this is what happens when you have an account that hasn't been set up in SharePoint and you try to set up the opportunity in SharePoint so here's an example of that problem we find ourselves at the Fresh Fish Company account. Now let's say for some reason this account has been created via external means, data load, or some other process that has not caused uh, an actual account representative to go in and put an entry in here and create that folder in SharePoint. However, behind the scenes, an opportunity is created. So we'll just create an opportunity here for fun. When we create this opportunity and click on the opportunity, it's going to take us to an opportunity page and here we have S files. Let's pretend for a second that our opportunity user wants to go ahead and create that folder in SharePoint. Now remember the folder has not been set up on the parent account. The button gets pressed and as you can see we've got an error. We couldn't set it up because the parent object is not set up with SharePoint. Well, that's an unacceptable scenario. Unfortunately, these kind of things happen. So what we've provided is a way to create a flow to be able to get around this issue so that when an opportunity is going to require to have its folder created, uh, we can automate that process. We'll start in flows. And we'll begin with a new flow. In this case, a record triggered flow. Now, what's it triggering on? We always have to think of this in terms of the child record. So the child record in our account opportunity relationship will be opportunity. And in this case, for simplicity's sake, we'll say when the record is created. But there are many conditions that you could set to make this true. And just to complicate it a little bit more, we'll do it when the account ID is not null. So in this case, if the account ID is filled out when an opportunity record is created, that will trigger this flow. And that is something that we need because a related account is necessary for a new opportunity if we want to create an account folder for it. In addition to that, we're going to click Include Run Asynchronously. And the reason for this is that the creation process requires very specifically to run after DML operations have completed. So we need to complete the opportunity creation process before it goes and fires some of these other things. Okay, so at this point we're going to work with the run asynchronously side as I just mentioned. Run immediately, we're going to leave completely blank. There's nothing that we will run immediately in this flow. The first thing we need to do is get records and we're going to go ahead and get the associated account. I want to get the account where the account ID equals the account ID on the opportunity. So we'll look at our record through the account ID relationship and account. There we go. So this will guarantee that we get the account that's associated as the parent account of the opportunity. We only need the first record. Of course, there can be only one. And for our next piece, we need to put a decision in. Okay, and so what we need to determine is whether or not that account has a folder or not. If the SharePoint folder has not been set up, then there's going to be some particular things that are true about it. If I pop back over to our account, 
we will find that the account is not set up. And if we scroll down, the SharePoint folder ID is blank. Whenever the SharePoint folder ID is blank, we can assume that the account folder has not been set up. Once this has a value, then the account folder is set up. Following that logic, what we need to do is check the SharePoint folder ID. So if the SharePoint folder ID is equal to null, then it has no folder. The alternative is that it has a folder. So those are our two possible outcomes. Either it has no folder when the SharePoint ID is null, or it has the folder because it's not null. At this point, we do not need to worry about the has folder condition. And the reason is, if it has the folder, we don't need to create it for that opportunity to be able to build its folder. So we will just handle the no folder situation. At this point, we execute an S file specific action called setup SharePoint folder. And we'll go ahead and create a folder for an account. We only need to send it two input values here. The first one will be the object settings label. And this refers to the metadata type that corresponds to the object we're trying to create the folder for. In this case, that's account. If I pop over to metadata types, you'll see in our custom metadata type for SharePoint object settings, we have account and opportunity. We want to use this record. And the reason is, when we drill into it, the initial folder structure that will create the opportunities folder that we require is defined here. So all I have to do is put account in. We don't need to click on anything. We actually care about the text value account. It is just to match the label in the SharePoint object settings. Now when it comes to the record ID, we're looking for that record ID for the account. In this case, that would be our opportunity account ID. And in this case, we will scroll down to account. So we are sending the account ID and the object name is account. That is sufficient for S files to be able to do behind the scenes the process of creating those folders. Believe it or not, that's as far as this particular flow needs to go. Now you can add all sorts of logic as you desire and uh, many different sorts of functionality and determinations that need to happen. But for this purpose, this is as far as we need to go. So we'll create automatic account folder creation. And we will go ahead and activate this as is. So now that this is created, notice we still, on our Fresh Fish Company record, still do not have a SharePoint folder ID created. But this time, we will create a new opportunity. Now behind the scenes, you can see what's happened. The account went ahead and set up its folder and created an opportunities folder, which means when we navigate now into our newly created opportunity, we can also hit the setup in SharePoint here and the opportunity folder is created. If I were to click open in SharePoint, we can see the details of that. Our new opportunity folder within opportunities within the Fresh Fish Company account, within the overall accounts listing within SharePoint. So what this has accomplished for us is instead of requiring a user to go back and create the account when it's necessary, the fact that the opportunity needed it triggered this behavior. So this can be triggered on any number of things. It can be triggered once an account reaches a certain threshold that you might want to set up the folder. And so the triggering event would be on an account to be able to set itself up. It could be on an opportunity, or of course, any combination of objects that you have within your own system. 
If you need any more information, you can feel free to go to support.sfiles.io and look at any number of the articles that we have available to you there. Thanks for joining me today, and thank you for using S-Files.